Hello everyone, I'm back with a new coding tutorial, uh, this time with a guest host of the tutorial, Jane, my daughter. Yay! And she is going to show you how to code something in Scratch. She's a big fan of Scratch. Do you, do you like Scratch? Yes, because it's easier than whatever you do. I told her that I had done some coding tutorials and she said, well, I can do that with my coding which is Scratch. So uh, just go ahead and take us away and uh, get get going and just describe what you're doing. And, you know, it probably the best thing to do is start coding and making your sprites and doing all that stuff while explaining, you know? So what, yeah. do, we, what do we do first here? We've opened up the little Scratch uh, interface. and Yeah, you want to delete the cat unless you're going to use it. All right. Now this, I'm sure, is going to be a perpetual battle the whole uh, um, video, but you got to talk into the mic. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Don't look at me when you talk. you got to talk into the mic. So you got to hit the cat. Then whatever. if you want to do an animal, you would hit animal. If you want to do anything else, just read whatever it so says. So we're choosing a sprite, right? Yeah. That's what it says. Now, what is a sprite? It's a it sprites like something that you're going to code to do something with. Okay. It's like a little picture. Yeah. And then you can manipulate the picture with the code. Is that right? Yeah. All right. So what picture are we going with? I'm going to find the fairy sprite. Oh, there's a fairy. If you go into the costume for the fairy, you can find different poses for the fairy. Okay. Oh, interesting. So they're like... You could animate it between those poses. Is that yeah, the idea? Yeah, you can also make her smaller and color her um, dresses and every anything you would like to color. Okay, so you can edit the sprite and it has all the different poses and stuff as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay, are we editing the sprite today? Yeah. I'm going to edit and code. Yeah, all right. So how? what do we, what do we want to... What is our goal here with the sprite? What are we going for? Well, you... I'm going for a blue fairy, but you can choose whatever color you actually want. Sure. But the key here is to make sure that you don't do anything you don't actually want. Yeah, of course. So you can undo. You can undo, but sometimes when you undo, it just makes a bigger mess. So I would use the fill for anything you're going to fill unless you have to do a design on it. You prefer to fill the color instead of like use the pencil to draw. Yeah, because the pencil makes little lines and they're pretty scribbly. I mean, I don't want to mess up on any of this. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. It's probably pretty hard to use the pencil when you're trying to control it with a mouse. You can do this. for. You can use... There's no fill for background. So, I mean, you kind of have to use the pencil. Sure. So, right, right. Well, because the background is not part of the sprite, right? Yeah. The background is its own thing. I think they call it a stage, right? Yeah. Or it's over there on the bottom right. Maybe move the cursor to show the bottom right. That's like how you do the background, right? Yeah, you or, would hit like this button here. Right, okay. Then you would... Then, since I want this fairy to be small, I'm going to put it onto a 50 size. Right 50, here. so that's like 50%? Yeah, but I think I'll change it to a 70. Okay. Because I don't want it that small. That's good. All then right. I'm going to move my sprite to where I want, and I'm going to hit code. All right. So I'm going to choose a different sprite now. Oh, second sprite. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of sprites I need. So I'm going to get a monkey. All right. Mm, maybe a monkey. The mon yeah, monkey. How do I go down? <laughs> Here with this one, you can use two fingers. Oh. You see? Or you could use the arrow. No, but the two fingers. Yeah, all right, you got it. Yay. Yeah, you're used to the Chromebook. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is a MacBook, so it's a little different. Mm. Chromebooks are better. Mm, you know, maybe on a value, you know, cost per resource basis. So I'm going to make my monkey blue. Uh, pink. Pinky, pinky, pink. Dad has no color for shorts. So if... So... He does not know what color it is yet. No colorful shorts? Shirts. Shirts. Oh, well, 
I mean, my shirt has a color. It's blue. You don't have many colors. Hmm. You only have blue and gray. That's basically it. Yeah, that is pretty much it. Cowboy colors, you know? Yeah, I know you come from Texas, but we're in Connecticut. Mm-hmm. So. Switch it up. Need to wear some husky colors. Though I feel like they're basically black, white, and blue, too. Oh, yeah. there we go. We add the backdrop? Where'd that come from? Did I miss it? Yeah, right there. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, yeah, so we add. <laughs> okay, so now we got a, like a little nature backdrop. and uh, I'm going to make this like 50. And we got our fairy and we've got our monkey. The button, you'll see what I'll make. And now we've got a button sprite. So we're on sprite number three. Yeah, you need the sprites there. That's good. All right. Okay, so I'm going to use the button to make it something. I'm going to make this a basket. A basket out of the button? Yeah, I'll show you. I've done it before. Oh, that's wild. I need to make this So you can kind of, the, the sprites are sort of like a raw material, and then you can kind of build whatever you want off of that. Yeah, um, sometimes when I don't have that correct sprite, actually, I will just get a sprite random sprite and delete it and make my sprite i see yeah and i think you can probably build your own sprite from scratch though i guess my getting a sprite deleting it is a kind of the same thing but that's interesting so you're not really limited to the sprites that they have yeah like because you can use whatever you really want but they're so customizable that you can basically do whatever with them yeah and so this one is just like do you want to start with a circle yeah and then i'll from from that i can do whatever right yeah yeah that's that's clever it's going to be a basket it's like a, a woven basket yeah she's a fairy oh okay well in that case certainly fairies always have these baskets that's the Noted fairy basket that you but see. But they don't, they get to fairy jail. And fairy lore. And then they need a fairy lawyer. A fairy lawyer, yeah. Um, to get them out of jail. It looks kind of like a waffle. It's a waffle basket then. I okay, guess. yeah, it's like a purse. I guess. Yeah. Bananas. Monkeys eat bananas. Monkeys eat bananas. Let's into the mic, please. Monkeys eat bananas. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's so small. I need that to be like a 30. <laughs> mm, I feel 40. like 30 is going to be a pretty small, too. 40. That's better. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's proportional. Right. Okay. I need it to fit in the basket. All right. There we Now, why do we have her hanging off the edge? Maybe we should move her in a little bit. Yes. There we go. No, do basket. Yes. All right. Okay, so now... End of the mic. So now I'm going to go into my fairy sprite and make it say things. Okay, so now we're starting to coding, right? And so yes. we're clicked onto the fairy sprite. Can you show that with the cursor? We're clicked onto that sprite. And so the coding is specific to that sprite, right? Yeah. Okay. If and you, if you hit this sprite, it won't go to the fairy. It will go to the monkey. Right. So you code each sprite separately. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. I'm not that fast of a typer, so dad might need to help. All right, so the first, what are we doing? What are the these these commands we're having it say? So we're going to make it say, good monkey for two seconds. Can you type monkey for me, please? Okay, good monkey for two seconds. Yeah. Okay. And then here are, here are bananas. Now when it says say, what is that? It's just going to pop up a speech bubble? Um... Doesn't actually say say, it just says good monkey. Right, in a speech bubble. But how does it know where to put the bubble on the sprite? Like, how does it know where her mouth is? Or does it just draw a line? I don't know. I don't mean to bog down. Just show I me. Don't show know. me how it goes. Show me how I it goes. I don't actually know that yet. Okay. You probably would know. Them. Good monkey for two seconds. Okay, so as I'm reading this. For two seconds, it's going to show good monkey, and it'll just hang out. And then yeah. after those two seconds are over, here we'll are get a second speech bubble that says... Here are bananas. Take here bananas. are bananas. Okay. So Do we want to test that? Oh, okay, great. 
Oh, so you said when that is clicked, so it's like a conditional. When the red green flag is clicked, then it runs the code. Is that right? Yeah, okay. it works. There we go. Good monkey, here are bananas. Okay, yeah, so just kind of, all right. Yeah. Then it I'm knows where the sprite is, and it just runs a little thing off the going sprite. Going to the bananas, and it's right. blank when clicked. So now we're coding the banana sprite. But I need one of these so it doesn't go and hurt when the fairy is talking. Right, because for the first four seconds, the fairy is talking. Yes. I see. Ah, right, so so for those four seconds, you want to tell the banana just to sit still. Yeah. I got you. So we say wait four seconds. Okay. Okay, here and now there. Let's so, see how this works. So he's going to glide over there. Yeah. I see. Good monkey. Here are bananas. bananas. Boom. And then we're going to add a special block. Interesting. We're going to add the hide block so then it goes bye-bye. The banana. Oh, will disappear as, yeah. if he, as if he ate it. Yes. Let's see this work. Nom, nom, nom. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. Oh, wait. I have an idea. Okay. A good idea. So we haven't coded the monkey sprite yet. So what wait, do we want to do with it? Wait four seconds. So I need to make it wait eight seconds. Eight. Why are you saying eight? Because four plus four is eight. But it takes four seconds for the bananas to launch towards the monkey, right? Yeah. And then it takes. Let's go back to the banana. takes one second, so we wait four seconds, and then it takes another second so for it to get... So five to ten seconds? I don't know. It sounds like five, right? Yeah, I'll try five. Okay. If it doesn't work, then oh well. Well, then we'll just debug, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now, we're going to make it say a sound. Start it. Sound chomp. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Let's get him on there. And then we're going to do looks, which I think, no, follow me block. So we're giving him a speech bubble now. And it says thank you. Okay. Oh, remember when Claire would say thank you? That was fun. Yeah, she used to say thank you. I don't know why. Don't hold it down. That's what's causing the little things. Mm. Just tap it. Thank. You can say thanks. Huh. You. Why, why, is you? I'm not good at typing. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see this work. Good funky. Here are bananas. Oh, the bananas. The bananas. The banana na 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 Show the bananas. Right oh, I see. Because you hide them at the end Wait. of the code, right? Oh, I had the best idea in the world. The best idea in the world. Now. Send it back. Is there like an unhide? Oh, Didn't show. Work. I guess show is. <laughs> Your bananas. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. And you re reset it. Oh, okay. wait. I forgot to add an important step to the banana, to the monkey. It goes... Why don't we talk normal for a little bit? Fine. Okay. It goes like Into the this. mic. So, it starts here, then it goes this. So, hmm. You trying to move him? I have an idea. All right. Okay. So now what is this, the X and Y? What is that? Um, Y goes up and down and X. Let's do it in the mic, please. Y goes up and down and X goes left and right. Correct. Okay. So Y is the vertical. Yes. And then X is the horizontal. Yeah. And so when it says glide one second to X 220 and Y negative 64. Yeah. What does that do? Um, that 
makes it go over here to 20 to 20 220 220 right then it makes it go to the negative 64 right on the y i got gotcha. you yeah. and so when you move him it shows up in the block right yeah over here so yeah. you're, okay so it's pre-coordinated for you okay but let's see if this oh i need to add an important block now you it, yeah i'm just gonna do something really quick and now it's at whatever we're gonna move you back here there Three, two, one. Oh wait! Crap. I need to Thank you. He glides, disappears. Show. Wait. Oh, and then you want to reset him. Ah, monkey. Yeah. Show. Yeah. Okay. Here, banana. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And he kind of goes off the stage, and then he reappears. Yeah. That's, that's the it. game. That's part of resetting him. That's okay. our game. So that's it. Yeah. That's the little animation you coded. Yeah. And now anyone can look at it, right? Yeah. There's also other games I've made. Okay. Uh, you want to show your stuff? Yes. No, that's not how you spell it. Just click your profile on the top right here. No. I'm doing it my <laughs> you way. You like to navigate through the search bar, which is interesting. It's my way. Okay. Oh. Strawberry JB is your screen name, yeah? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. There. Where's enter on this cupboard? It says return. But you, you got to be in the box. I don't understand this. Yes, all the things I've created. Oh, that is a way to do it. Yeah, those are all your little coding things. I've remixed this one. It's my favorite. Yeah, so the remixing, how does that work? So I'm going to go to a game I haven't remixed. All right. Actually, we should probably end it. Yeah. Um Okay. All right. So, yeah, we don't need to see all the remixing, but, yeah, that's how you yeah. do it. Um, should we go back to the finish off where we started? Um, Dad, what are you doing? I'm right? trying to get back to your project. Okay, <laughs> this is what it looks like, and then we yeah. want to play it. Hit it. Hit it. Good monkey. Here are bananas. Um, nope. There it is. All right. Bye. It comes back to the dead. It All right. comes so back. So I'll say bye. Bye.